I spoke with the owner of Darden and Sons LLC, a cleaning company here in Hampton Roads, and he tells me last year he had 18 employees. Today, he only has eight, prompting him to lose close to $100,000 because of labor shortages. I am wearing multiple hats right now. I am wearing the hat of the employee, the supervisor, the manager, as well as the CEO of the company. Balancing many roles because the impact of labor shortages has hit him hard. Darden says many of his workers are being scooped up by higher paying companies, mainly Amazon in this case. We can't compete with the rates that they're paying and obviously with the inflation on prices, gas, and just the cost of operation. It's almost making it impossible for us to even make that transition. This week turned down a 30 Sherwin-Williams uh, throughout Hampton Roads all the way to Franklin, Virginia, just because of the lack of personnel. And we're talking about $100,000 contracts. While the cleaning business is flushed with work, the employees that still remain say they now have to take on extra responsibilities. Now you're kind of helping out wherever is needed, and it's all over the seven cities. Workforce Council experts say small businesses who have been impacted by labor shortages say owners should work with community leaders to attract potential workers, especially welcoming new residents. Whether that is um, working with the high schools, getting some of those students in, or getting, um, you know, be becoming part of programs like the reentry program to get some of those returning citizens back to work. Although many want to go back to a pre-pandemic workforce, Spencer says businesses have to be flexible at this time. In Virginia Beach, Kelsey Jones, News 3.